Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a self-signed certificate using the Java Key tool. So we're just going to start from the very beginning and we're going to download Java JDK to be sure that we have that on our machine. So I have a link here, which I'll leave a link below where you can get all the links that you need, which will take us to the Oracle website. And I am going to uh, download JDK for a Windows 64 bit machine. So I'm just going to accept the license agreement and I'm going to click to download. So while this is downloading here, uh, I'll just actually save it. And while this is downloading, I'll pause the video for two seconds. Okay, so the download's been successful. So now I'm just gonna click run here to run the JDK installer. So hopefully this will pop up for us here now in a second. Okay, and it looks good. So I'm gonna click next. And it's gonna click next. And it should begin the install procedure for us here. Okay, so I'm being prompted uh, to want to leave the default install folder, so I do. So I'll click next, and it will begin to install Java. Okay, perfect, and we can see it's been installed. So I'm just going to click close on this here to close it. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add the Java bin folder to our path so we can access the key tool uh, command line from anywhere. So I'm just going to open up. Uh, Windows Explorer here, go to this PC, I'll go to my C drive, I'll go into Program Files, Java, let's just check JDK, and bin, perfect. And what we'll do is I'm just going to copy this path, and then I'm going to right click on this PC, I'll click Properties, I'm going to click Advanced System Settings, I'm going to click Environment Variables, and I'm going to click on my path down here in System Variables, I'll click Edit, I want to click New, and I'm just going to paste in that path that I copied. And once I have that, I'm going to click OK, OK, and then I will click OK again. OK, so we're getting to the meat of this tutorial now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click a Start menu, and I'm going to open a command prompt, and let's click it here to get it to open. And there's a command I'm going to run. So I'm going to type this in. It's key tool, space, minus, gen, key. And again, I'll leave all these commands below, so you just copy and paste them in. I'm going to type alias, and I'm just going to say Darren, but you can say whatever you want there. Minus key, ALG, I'm going to say RSA, space, minus, key store. And we'll just do uh, C, and we're going to call it local.keystore. And you can just surround it in quotes if you want. And then I'll hit return. And hopefully this will work for us there. No, nope, we have an error here. So let's just have a look. So we'll just click up here to get the previous command. Oh, and I have a typo. So let's just correct that. Perfect. So we're being prompted to enter key store passwords. Just type something in and make sure that you remember it. And just retype it there. So what's your first and last name? So this would usually be uh, your machine name, but I'm just gonna type in localhost here for the moment. Uh, organizational unit, I'm just gonna say IT. Uh, name of my organization, Darren. City or locality, Dublin. And obviously you'd enter your own values in. Uh, state or province, Leinster. And to city, IE. And it's going to prompt me to say if that's okay. And I'm going to say, yes, that is. Cool. So it's going to ask us for a password for Darren. And I'm just going to say, leave it the same as my key store. So I'll press enter. And we can see it looks like it's worked. And we're just getting a warning about the JKS format. So we can actually navigate and check to see if that key is in there now. So what we can do is we'll just CD and we'll move back to our C drive. Perfect, and if we do a dir here, we should see our local.keystore. And we can now run a command to uh, check what uh, is in our key store. So we can run key tool, space, minus V, space, list, oh, minus list, space, key store. And we're going to say local.keystore. 
and we're being prompted for our password. So pop in the password that you set. And then we scroll up here, we should see what we create. It's perfect that we see alias name, Darren. So that's a very short introduction to the Java uh, key tool utility and how you can create a self-signed certificate and have it in the uh, key store. If you have any issues, follow along. Please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. Thanks for watching.